I'm going to demonstrate how you can create a database, an access database, in five minutes. We're going to be doing it using the worksheet database, which is a um, a worksheet generator. It's a, a database tool, but it's also a database where you keep all of your information in, in the worksheets that you create. It's a, a free download from SpreadsheetCity.com, and I suggest that you watch this tutorial full screen because we're going to be working with the uh, program, and I think it's important to be able to see what the uh, options are that I select and what things I type in on the screen and so forth. A quick overview of what we're going to be doing. We're going to create a simple database. Uh, this is going to th this would save you many hours over using Microsoft Access if you're going to create a database like this from scratch. Uh, and if you had to go through a learning curve, um, then uh, yeah, especially so, it would save you days and uh, maybe even a couple of weeks. Uh, this is a much better solution than using uh, Microsoft Excel. Um, there's a, a lot of features available in the worksheet database that come out of Access that just don't exist in Excel. And I know a lot of people uh, use Excel to set up their, their database and to set up their lists. And uh, that's you know, it works for them, and it's a good solution. But I think it's going to be really apparent why this solution is so much better. I have more than 20 years experience in database and uh, spreadsheet programming. I've spent much of that time working with Access and Excel and this is just an amazingly useful and easy to use database application. Uh, what we're going to be doing basically an outline here is we're going to create a, a simple to-do list uh, from scratch, a new, a new database, a new database worksheet. Um, most people know what, uh, everyone knows what a to-do list is and many people use them so it's a good uh, starting point, a good example. Uh, after we create the database we're going to uh, modify the design of the database uh, by adding in uh, another field to it. It's very simple to do. And then we're going to enter some data into the database, and I'm going to show you how the uh, uh, how the, the printing works and the, uh, the, the the print feature. So here we go. We open up the worksheet database. We click on New to do a new uh, a new worksheet, a new database, and this is going to be to do list. We're going to enter in a couple of check boxes. X which you check when item completed. P, check if this is a priority item. And what the status bar text does, and it's optional, you don't have to fill it out, but what the status bar text does is, is when you're in the worksheet in a particular field, the uh, text that you type in is going to be displayed at the, um, the, the bottom left hand side of the, uh, of, of the screen. I'm going to put in a text box which is the task I, uh, task to be performed I'm going to put in a date call that due date and like I said, the status bar uh, text is it's, it's optional. Um, let's let's do this. Let's call it due date task is due. Uh, click OK. It's going to create our, uh, our our worksheet, our our database. Now I'm going to go up here in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to click up here because what I have to do is resize the fields. Okay, so I, I select all the fields by clicking up in the corner here, and I go in between two columns. There's a faint line in between them. Up at the top, I double click. I'm going to drag the task out, make it a wider field to type into, make the due date a little bit bigger, and then you can click the fields at the top and then reposition them if you. Uh, if you'd like to do so in order to make the layout of the worksheet the way that you want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and enter in a couple of tasks. Let's say on the 15th I want to uh, 
email brochure to client on the 16th ah follow up call there we go okay and then on the 19th we're going to do a um, we're, we're going to send out a proposal all right now I'm, I'm looking at this and and I, I see that there is uh, uh, one more field that, that we should add in here uh, so I'm gonna go into modify design I think that we need to have a client field as a drop-down I click OK and it recreates the form which means that we have to go back in and resize our columns and move them back the way that we want them to be. You have to do that whenever you uh, design a new form or, or redesign an existing form. I'm going to click the due date column and drag it over to the left and let's say that this client is uh, uh, Smith now I enter an item in the drop-down box and what's going to happen is that that item is automatically entered into the list that you get when you click on the drop-down box now let's say that I want to repeat this process again with another client I select all the records by clicking and dragging on the left the, the records that I want to copy then I go into the, uh, the, the last row and I, I click control C up here now I click control V and it pastes in three records but instead of Smith this client is Jones now I'm gonna go here and here we have Jones okay there are a couple of ad advanced features there are several uh, many features in, in the, the program uh, something that I'm going to show you right now is how to uh, do some filtering and some sorting uh, let's say uh, we have three tasks here two on the 15th two on the 16th and two on the 19th I'm going to click up at the top and click oldest to newest and it puts the, uh, uh, the, the dates in order Another thing I can do here is come down and let's say I only want to see what's due on the 15th so I unselect my other dates. I click OK. There's all of my tasks there. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn off my filter to show all the dates. I'm going to turn my sort off so the dates are in the order that I put them in. And I'm going to come here and let's say that I only want to look at the client Smith I unselect all the records, I click on Smith, and I click OK. I have only Smith's records, and let's say I, that if today were the 15th, and I want to create a filter, I could come here and select a date filter, and say that the date is, well, equal to the 16th and I see there's only one task okay I'm gonna uh, if, if I were to print this out it would come up with just this one item whatever's on the screen is what you get on the printout but I am going to go back to the main menu I'm going to turn the the filtering off I'm going to I don't think I have any sorting uh, turn the sort off and when I go back to, to, to do my printout here's what the form will look like as it is printed out. I'm going to print that out in portrait view and if I had a, a long list I might want to go with a, um, a legal size paper and if I had a list with a lot of fields I could make it landscape so that the fields would, uh, would, would stretch across. There we go. We close the print preview and there we have it. So the worksheet database is a free download. It's both easy to use and uh, very featureful. 
It's a free download from Spreadsheet City, and I hope you'll go and take a look. Thank you.